Stern Show. Here's Howard. Who is this? Stuttering and John. Now, this song rules. What is this? It's Stuttering John. No, I mean, what's that? I don't have to listen to this. This is good. I don't know. When he sings, he ruins it. <laughs> He's a good musician. That's good. That is good. I'd like this without words. This is really Stuttering John. <laughs> Where is that song? I got to hear what he sings. How does he mess that yeah, up? How does he mess it up? Because I was sitting here saying, you know, that doesn't need any words. Yeah, you don't need words for that. That rocks. That rules. <laughs> Next record, gag him. <laughs> <laughs> Throw something in his mouth. Do you know the name of the song, Fred? It's either Daddy's Money or Guilt. Uh, you know the track number on that? Yeah, try, um, try number six. Nope. Daddy's money? Yeah, you, that was five. You gotta go to six. I don't know why this thing jumps around like that. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right, I'm still with you. Yeah, so far, so oh, oh. <laughs> This is good. That's even good. Even that. That's good. Why can't? Why did the record company release that as that a single? That's been a single. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me these things. There, John, the record company's already off the Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah, yeah. They forgot John already. Oh, really? Are you? Are you like uh, yesterday's news to them? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, unless something, you know, kicks it off again. Do right? they return your phone calls? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm recording new songs already. Yeah, sure. No, seriously. You know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna call Stutter and John, though. Call something else. You're gonna change the name of your band? Yeah. Why? Why? Because it's just... He doesn't because... want all the heat he generates got to like... mess up the next album. Oh, that's right. <laughs> no, I just got so much crap from all over, like, you know, you know, you know people not playing me because of Stutter and John. Did you, did, Harry, so you think they're gonna find out you're in the band? Well, 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 like, they don't mind, like, like even a guy from Z-Rock told me that he don't mind saying there was, you know, Moss, and said, but if he says there's Stutter and John, it's cool. Don't believe them. They lie through their well, teeth. Well, you know what it is? Our, our stations compete with Z-Rock. In Dallas and in, in Buffalo, so and, and we kick their asses. So you know they don't want to like promote anything that has to do with us. You know. So we're gonna change the name of the band to Big Dope. <laughs> What's called Big Dope? Well, I don't know. They're stupid. Stupid ass. They're stupid. Hey, Howard, did you know yeah. that? Uh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Here today, gone later today. <laughs> did you know that George, uh, George Record Company sent uh, one of his records to a major radio station out in Los Angeles and, and put a different name on it? You know, just to see if they'd like it. Yeah. And they wanted to play it. When they found out that it was John, they yelled at the record company. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah they, they, yeah, they give them a lot of crap. Because they almost accidentally played it. Yeah, I don't know. No, seriously. I, you, know. you know, that's like like everyone was saying, hey, Bon Jovi's over, Bon Jovi's over. Meanwhile, they put out a song. Yeah, it's the number one hit. You know, so it's, it's, not, it's not over if you write a good song. Yeah. Don't blame everything. No, I'm still going. I mean, you know. You know. Yeah, maybe the record company made a mistake by not making this the first single. Right. This is hot. And, and, and that video you made, next time mm -hmm. talk to me. All right. I will. Well, don't be so ambitious. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> That's a case of trying to be funny and yeah. not being funny. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Well, you were the only one, obviously. Oh, no no one on MTV it. thought it was funny. <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to say that they know exactly what they're talking about. <laughs> well, they're the ones Doesn't you have to matter. please. Doesn't yeah. Matter. yeah. Doesn't, unfortunately. Dude. You, know. you don't see Pearl Jam trying to be funny. They're not comedians. Neither are you. He's making, he's making his next Woody Allen. He's making a funny video. Right, he's doing it all himself, too. He's uh, well, it was writing, real. I mean, it was writing, yeah, he's producing. Got, he's got Gilbert Gottfried talking over his song. Yeah. That's unbelievable. And I, and I pulled him aside, and John goes, whoa, 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 what do you think of my video? Whoa, 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 what do you think of your video? I said, I'll tell you what. said so just like that, right? I said, yeah. I said, here's what you ought to do. I li I'm a big Gilbert Gottfried fan, but I don't want to hear Gilbert Gottfried talking over every time you guys stop singing for two seconds. Right. Howard, can I be honest with you? I mean, is Gilbert in the band? Howard, I called them and, and told them your advice. Yeah. And it was like... Hey, dude, do what you want. No, 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 I did. And they said, well, it's ready, to, it's ready in, it's ready in. Okay, you know. yeah, well, they did the right thing. It got on MTV, didn't it? I tried to tell him, just perform. All yeah. anybody wants to see of a new band. Yeah, you know, the next video I, I would do, band. I was just doing like a white room and just play. No, that's okay. wrong. Again, that's wrong. Well, well, they want to see. Thing. They want to see a band play. Yeah, but at the same point, they want to be, in, you know, they want to be entertained in some way, and that's usually a chick.
Oh, Get a good-looking girl. They won't. Yeah. No, MTV doesn't want chicks. No, Aerosmith doesn't have a girl in every video. I know, but they, but they're every video. Boys to men. God only knows how they're famous. Howard, they've well, got a chick. Howard, well, so what I wanted to do a chick. They said uh, chicks are out. That's Who 80s pose that? and rock. Yeah, they told you that. Well, and then meanwhile, the people. And then meanwhile, everything they air is a chick. I know. Well, it's they're a, liars. It seems to work for rap, but it doesn't work for rap. Yeah, you know what the greatest? Well, John yeah. did put chicks in the. In and the they made thing. me take them out. And they were not good looking. Yeah, he put ugly chicks no, in here. He had like, he got some like strippers who look like they've been through a minefield. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we get. You know, just because they look good in the club with the lights out, when you get on camera, it's a whole different yeah, deal. You, you guys had no shady whatsoever. Do you know every stripper I know has said, "Hey, can I be in your movie?" And I go, "Oh yeah, sure." And then I don't call them back. <laughs> That's how you gotta be. Well, it isn't like I have the you you, know, you get the I beastie girl. I don't have the clout to get to the club. You ever hear the beastie yeah. boys? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can hire models who do that kind of stuff. They're video models. They die to be in videos and they look good in them you get a bunch of scranks yeah, have you ever seen the girls of rock video yeah dude i mean if you're gonna get a girl get amy lynn yeah and you well, don't need you only need one you know i had her on my album cover and they and they would give me crap about that too yeah, you know? it's good everyone who gave you crap seemed to know so much but when i tell you what to do you don't listen no, but I really, Get out of here I, you know I, no, i'm I, sick of you no no don't be sick of me because i i i don't I, ever ask my I, opinion I, no I, I god's honest called them and said that all right, all right, who, cares? Who, who cares? I got my own career. Get out of here. You're slowing me down. I got a million things to talk about. All right. Sorry, I'm sorry I ever listened to your sorry. record. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried to help you. I know you did. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know, I, 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 well, you know what it is? You always think you know so much. He's another one who knows everything. I got a great idea for my video. I can't wait. Oh, I can't even tell you. Say hello to Tony and Tina, rock star. <laughs> He's in um, a play called Tony and Tina's Wedding. Mm-hmm. Evidently, what it is, is I thought it was on a stage where no. you act. They stick you in a room, and they make believe it's an Italian wedding. Yeah, and you, when you right. walk in, you're a member of the wedding. Yeah. And it's like, imagine you walk into the room, and there's a wedding going on. And when someone is acting, they, they might be acting in front of one person. In other words, if you walk up to somebody, it's like one of these interactive things. Like if you walk up to someone at the wedding, you can eavesdrop on what they're acting. That's some show. I never heard anything yeah, They're like acting that. like they're at a wedding. It's a really good show. But you're acting, too. So why aren't you getting paid? Are you acting? Yeah. You're not getting paid? No, I'm talking about the people who come to see it. Oh, I would never go see that. <laughs> I don't want to act at a play. Well, your wife might come. Is she going to come? Yeah. She might. How, did, how do you know that? Because because I, I spoke to her, and she might go with uh, with Karen, you know. Oh, she's stroking you. You think so? She's I'm not nice. letting my wife go to that. <laughs> she would actually have a good time. Howard, the thing's running. I'm not time. interested in her having a good time. <laughs> Howard, can I just say one thing? It's, it's, it's been running for seven years. I know. I just don't like to go to plays where I have to do work. I like to go watch a you play. You don't have to. You can just sit I don't want to walk around. You don't have to. You can just kick back and just relax and enjoy it. You, you can sit in a chair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? At like one of the tables? No, at, yeah. At first it's at the, at the, at the church. You, you don't interact there. You just sit and just watch the uh, ceremony, which is really funny. Is it a real ceremony? Yeah, but... Why it, is that funny? Because it's 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 loaded with, you know, with uh, it's, humor. It is? Yeah. A wedding is loaded with humor? Well, this wedding is. What yeah. happens at the wedding that's so funny? Tell me something well, funny that happened. All right, well, so there's a gay brother who, who you know, makes a speech, which is... At really the wedding? Yeah. When do you see someone make a speech at a wedding? Have you ever been to a church ceremony? I go to a church all the time. An Italian church ceremony? They always yes. make speeches. I was at Gary's wedding. wedding. There was yes. no wedding speech. Are you kidding me? They, oh, please. How are they do readings? I, I've been a Catholic for years. Readings. They, Gary, readings are different than speeches. They do readings. I read it Gary. the Bible, but I never... Gary, you're Catholic. Yeah, yeah, I'm half like Catholic. Reading. Didn't they? Uh, do you have you ever seen someone get up and make a major speech at the at the church? Except for the priest. No. I, know. No. I never seen a seven piece choir at a at a, oh. at a mass before Gary's wedding. Sure, I have. <laughs> I've seen that. You're confused. I'll probably enjoy the play as much as I enjoy weddings. Oh, which is, no. I, I was going to really say, funny. who enjoys going to weddings? It's really funny. It's a parody of like an, an Italian wedding. It's it's it's, it's actually very it's funny. very funny. <laughs> Where is the tape of you acting? Real one. Are we going to play that? Yeah, it's right up on real one. Let me hear you act. So Howard, this is a. Uh, this is now at the um, at the banquet, and John is the best man, and this is John as the best man giving the speech. Yeah, I wonder how the other actors in your uh, play feel about you. Well, they're very good. Really? You know, I'm just this is only my third night, so you know how you know. I mean, well, you must be good by now. But you know, I get to play my guitar at the church. Oh, let me hear you act. Oh, quickly, as long as I'm on your topic here. <laughs> now, the reason you're hearing all this noise is there's a whole wedding going on. Yeah, this is the reception. This is so you walk in a reception. <laughs> Are you Barry? Yes, I am, Robin. Oh, you're the best man? Yeah. And you get up and make a speech now? Yeah. 
All right, come on, let's hear it for Donnie Dolce and Fusion. You're good. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Is that your Italian accent? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, that's unbelievable. <laughs> Jackie's got nothing on you. Wow, boy. <laughs> right, Jackie Puppet? Hey, you do an Italian, don't you? <laughs> That's a spicy yummy <laughs> There you go. Jackie Puppet's better than you. Are you Tony taking this a bit, Chatina? <laughs> All right, very good. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good, Jack. Where did you find her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let me hear this. Donnie, when is that thing happening for you? A week or two? That's two weeks. All right, check it out. Get your VCRs ready. If you don't got one, you get one from Johnny over there. Johnny sells VCRs. I'm sorry. Get your VCRs ready because our own Donnie Dolce is going to be appearing on Star Trek. <laughs> Whatever, whatever, Donnie. Does he look like he's out of Menudo or what? what the? Anyway, now it's a very special time that I think everybody, friends, family, Joey, stand up and raise your champagne glasses. Let's make a toast for Tony and Tina. Now, who had this part before you? This guy, Tony Lauria. It's pretty good, really good. Yeah? Yeah. He was a professional actor? Yeah, they're all professionals. I'm the only one professional. I hear it's driving the cast crazy. Really? You've they're heard so something? annoyed with him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? Because they're resentful. You're not an actor. Yeah, they worked at their craft. Well, uh, Lee Mazzilli played the was in the wedding only a year ago. Here, here is um, here's one of your fellow actors in Tony Tina's wedding. Who is this, Michael? Yeah. Now, you play Tony's little brother? Yeah, I play Tony's little brother, John Nunzio. My name's Mike Straka. And you're an actor? Yeah, I'm an actor. What How you... long have you been doing it? I've been doing a show for years, three months. He's a buck wall down. Is he? Yeah. And what? And what are your credentials? In other words, you were uh, in commercials and things. And uh... yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got a. Uh, I went to Rutgers University. Right. Yeah, I studied acting with a guy named Bobby Lewis. So you studied for four years. Yeah, Bobby Lewis is a uh, guy who taught Marlon Brando how to act. One of the guys. Right, and then you uh, did commercial work, I assume, and maybe some acting parts here and there. Yes, that's the, that's right. The soap operas, walk on stuff. Well, yeah, guiding working light, hard. Guiding, right. Yeah. So you've been a your professional actor. I'm a professional actor. And what is your feeling? And what is your feeling working with Stuttering John? Yeah, at first I was like, well, what's this, this, this stern crony coming on our show for, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now, uh, uh, you know, the, guy, the guy's good. You look at Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner, he... What is this guy? He, he's, he, what is that? He changed his story from the other day. Really? Uh, you... I, told Gary, I told Gary he sucks because the guy wouldn't let me on the air. You, you guys are going to kill... Ah. <laughs> good work, Gary. Uh, hey, what can I you know, what do? Guy I actually, uh, I get along with everybody. Yeah, evidently you do. He called up and he told Gary that. Uh, yeah, I, I knew. He, told, I, he said that you sucked in that. Um, I, I know, but but because he knows it's the only way he'll get through. Oh, I if see. he said he was, I was good, he, Gary would never put him through. I see. Well, he'll never he get through again. It isn't like the show's completely the honest. Right. Excuse me. He just wanted his name on the air. He could care less about stuttering. Oh no, that's not true, Rob. We, we have, couldn't have trusted him either very, way. You know, the, uh, that's right. He's going nowhere. There's a lot yeah. of com camaraderie going on there. there you go. Yeah, come on. Just before this, did you notice that the entire audience missed John's joke? What was the joke? Wasn't that a joke when you said friends, family, and Joey? Uh, yeah, it was kind of, but it's, it's a non sequitur type of thing, you know. No, it, it was it, a ever, joke was... that absolutely no one got. Jackie, right. Jackie, Jackie you should talk about jokes. Jokes. I just I'd help Jackie, him out. you should talk about jokes that bomb. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's you. Know, there's somebody that should talk. No, I, you know, I don't forget the open sores, all right? You didn't get one laugh. Okay? 30,000 people said, why the hell is this fat guy on stage? <laughs> I remember, believe me. Johnny Mel, don't forget. <laughs> John's turned into his character now. Yeah, Johnny well, Mel. Well, I'm doing this. Everybody talks Italian there, so you get, like, caught up in it. No, you know? Italian's another language. They talk about You're saying I bombed six years ago. Your album bombed yesterday. <laughs> Jackie, I sold more albums in one album than you sold in 18. I always say that. You put out 18 albums, no one even notices your albums. Oh, you know, mean. a store won't even put them on the shelves. That's mean, John. You know, but they pay me money to make mine. You pay to make yours. Don't forget that. That's mean. <laughs> All right? That's you fat mean. bastard. I just did your favor cutting some for your, for your wife to sell that stupid album of yours. <laughs> well, there you go. There's well, 
the joke still bombed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. Roll it back. That's right. a fact. Tell him, tell how the joke that uh, that you gave me to say. All right, you know what? You know what? All right, I've had enough. All right, I had enough of you coming in here and upsetting Jackie. Oh come on, you upsetting me first. All right, that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. If anyone's gonna upset Jackie, it's me. Roll it back. <laughs> Let me hear the joke. <laughs> With your John bomb. We mm. friends. But <laughs> He didn't stutter, at least. No, he's going to in a little right, bit. Right. Anyway, now it's a very special time that I think everybody, friends, family, Joey, stand up and raise your champagne glasses. Let's make a toast for Tony and Tina. Come on, get up. Come on. Come on, get up, buddy. Get up. Yeah. Get up, come on. Get up, you fat bastard. Come on, get up, come on. Come on. Get up, come on. Jackie Puppet surprisingly quiet during all of this. <laughs> Well, he's, he's all upset that Jackie got into a fight with John. You all right? Watch your back, John. <laughs> Watch your back. Watch your back. You don't want an angry puppet after you. <laughs> yeah. This pen has poison ink. Tony. Tina. I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous, but uh, I'm proud to be uh, your best man. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah, ever since you told me I was gonna be your best man, I've been. Cool. What was that? I love that noise. <laughs> 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 Very appetizing. You're right? trying to eat a meal. Fast moving dialogue, too. And he's hocking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tony, uh, Tina. Uh, <laughs> I like family, friends, and. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hear that noise again. What was his face doing on that? <laughs> we got this for the E show on tape, yeah. right? Well, yeah. Ganji shot it, so we better hope. <laughs> well, we got your feet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like a Picasso. <laughs> Is that in the script? Does it say Tony Tina gag? <laughs> Tony Tina. <laughs> oh, Donnie Dolchik. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm a little nervous. I'll say. But uh, I'm proud to be uh, your best man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Even John, I don't think has ever heard this before. No, I didn't know. Tony, Tina, I got to tell you, I'm a little nervous. It, so is everyone in the audience. <laughs> and ever since you told me I was going to be a best man, I've been thinking about a speech for about eight months. And I come up with nothing. <laughs> I'm a lot stupider than I look, if you know what I mean. But, uh... I don't know, if I was, at, you know, I was lying in bed with Connie, talking, and something hit my head, I'm like the, like the, like the crankshaft from a 57 Chevy. Oh, oh, why are you yeah. trying to crack oh. jokes? <laughs> Get to the point. Like the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> On my third night, I got better. I was what lying in think? bed with Connie, and something hit my head like a... <laughs> like a, 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 a crank chef from a. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. I'll stay out of music. Jenny. Yeah. You hey, hey you promise that if we can get that in writing, I'll stop. With a delivery like that, you don't need jokes. <laughs> Why are you trying to tell jokes? You know you're going to mess them up. Well, I, actually, this could have been where I got stuck on saying the real thing, so sometimes I have to come up with something. Do I have to hear more, or uh, is there. No, it's a, then. No, and, uh, uh, then. You might want to go to the next clip because it's just a lot funnier. It's John acting in front of in front of two people. Oh, you know, in other words, you I don't know if I can handle. And then that. and then John sings. A song. I got to take a break. I'm running late here. I don't know if I can handle that. Okay. A little more. A little more. <laughs> It'll hit Gee, you Jack, aren't you afraid John will goof on you? This is John's delivery. <laughs> hey, Tony, Tina. <laughs> Tony, Tina. I, I'm, I'm proud to be your <laughs> best man. I, I really uh, <laughs> appreciate it. Everybody raise your glass. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's make a toast <laughs> together. <laughs> to a long <laughs> life. All right, here's uh, here's John in another acting scenario in front of two people. 
So, Tony, you ready for this? This is it. I don't see. You're standing in a corner of a room doing this? I don't know. what This, this is at the church, probably. And so who's watching you? Two people? Yeah, well, yeah, like everyone sits down at the, at the, at the, at the pews. So different people miss different parts of the conversation. I don't understand this. Because there's, there's, there's 30 actors and actresses all in the whole place, so they're walking around all right. saying hello to everybody. And so, in other words, if Robin happens to be in one corner of the room and I happen to be in the other, she hears one part of the play and... and right. That's why they say you go back again and again because yeah, you, you never get... Things. You get the, it's a different oh, play every oh time. Boy. I might have missed what John said. <laughs> yeah, maybe well, he'll I'm, with, to I'm with Tony and, 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 with, and he, this is right before the, before, you know, before the wedding. All right. So two people flock to you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else thought they would go somewhere else. They, only two people wanted to see you act. Hey, time to learn. How are you doing? We still got time to back out of this. Start the car, Barry. Seriously, no more Monday Night Football, no more Atlantic City. Hey, up no, you didn't talk about Atlantic City yet. I want to go with you, Atlantic City. Okay, but, you know, there's no more scores. No, no, I'm gonna, we're going to go to school. You hear the difference in his level of acting and yours? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah, he sounds like a real guy. Yeah. Well, this scene actually just took place with them two, and the only people who were listening were us on the microphone. That oh, really? Yeah. So they might as well not have done it. No, this is just trying to get into the, this is trying to get into the whole thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, he was into it. I don't know about you. Well, he's a great actor. We're going to go. She ain't going to let you go to school. So. No, she has no choice. Believe me, I see he wants to see it all. As soon as we get married, that's it. To buy sex. I can buy sex. To buy happiness. The girls at school. When they pay you, you're stealing. <laughs> You've seen it once. You've seen it all. John is mumbling through his mind. I don't know what anyone said. That's unbelievable. That's just preparing the whole uh, thing so I get it to my room. No, I understand what you're supposed to be doing. I'm wondering what you were doing. I'm wondering what I'm doing listening to. The producer's hanging himself. <laughs> Hey, at least someone's talking about a stupid play. <laughs> Finally, he found producers stupider than his record company. <laughs> uh, I just want you to make the right decision. This is it. There's only five minutes left before you do it. Turn back out. Would you respect me if I backed out? I would respect you more than anything. <laughs> I would respect you more than anything. <laughs> I would respect more than anything. Who let a mental patient into the wedding? No more sex, no more scores. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this a drama? Mm. <laughs> At least the stutter breaks up the monotony of his delivery. I think of it, that, you know. Uh... The other guy's great. He's like, hey, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go there. Hey, hey. Mike Raffaelli is. Oh, it's terrific. He's great. Hal from 2001 had more personality than you. Ah. <laughs> That'd be funny if I said no. Wow. Old people do. Uh, All right. Thank you, you John. Know, Thank this you. guy's doing a comedy. John's doing masterpiece theater. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> John's just trying to talk without stuttering. All right, good. Good. Congratulations. How do you think you're going to do when you start acting for the first time? Okay, Watch me, pal. Do that noise. But you know what? You're going to be in film, so you... Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, you, 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 John. You, 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 you're a critic now? You're going to tell me about acting? No, but, no, but you can do a whole bunch of takes. It's like the first one. Oh, that's 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 time. Well, then maybe I know my mediums. Wait a minute, Howard. He's not comparing himself to you, is he? Well, oh, yeah, I think so. I'm the guy. I'm saying, I'm saying, That's what I've built doing. an entire career. What do you think's gonna happen in to front you? of the no, microphone? No, I, excuse me. I've built an entire career in front of the microphone. You have yet to build a career. No, I'm saying it's not that easy to do. Oh, you can't. For you. Some people are natural. Oh, it's 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 it's. it's it's easy for you, Robin. I'm saying you're talking to Howard. Don't even. No, I'm saying. I'm saying just don't throw it on Robin. I, all I'm saying is right, that. Get out of here! You insult me. Uh, no, I wasn't. You insult I'm me by your very. You. you know what? Your presence sickens me. <laughs> 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 tell him, Captain. Carter. I'm just saying it ain't easy. Yeah, that's all. I'm saying. Don't sit here and tell me that it sickens me. <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right.